Andrew Oaktree here. Welcome back to the channel. And so what? It's been eight months since my last video. Um, it's amazing. Like somehow this, uh, you know, influencer or like recording videos, it's something that you tend to forget in the sense that, you know, the more you do it, the more comfortable you become like recording the next ones. And whenever you stop for a long period of time, it just feels weird just like to be talking here to to a lens but in any case guys uh, I'm recording this video because I want to give you guys an update on the channel and also to apologize for you guys uh, to you guys uh, for not making a video for the past eight months so what's been going on why haven't I posted anything for this long period of time I will tell you as you probably don't know, um, when I recorded the last video, which had that impact, which was, uh, you know, regarding uh, Etihad and the firings that took place, uh, this uh, miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous type of selection that was made on the crew that got fired, uh, I stopped there. Why? Because when this happened, when I recorded that, that video, uh, Alright, let's start from the beginning. When I left Itihad, I left on my own terms. I left in 2017 and I was there for four and a half years. I left because I felt it was enough. It was too much time that I spent there, which, don't get me wrong, I absolutely loved. There, was, there were pros and cons and I will cover them in another video. But I left on my own terms. I left and I decided to move back to Portugal to open up my own business, to get married, you know, to, to be close to my family. And uh, the thing was that when I decided to open my own business, I got contacted by uh, Top, uh, which is an airline, Top Air Portugal or Top Portugal, I don't know. They keep changing their names as quick as I change it, sure. Uh, well, not as much, but any, anyway. And, uh, you know, they hired me, so I couldn't really cope with having a business and working at the same time. You know, I felt like I didn't have any personal time off. So I decided to, you know, forget about the business. You know, it, it, I just, it, it, I didn't complete at all the, the tasks in order to, for it to start earning money and stuff. So, you know, quit the business, stay with TAP as a cabin crew. I thought, okay, you know, this is what I love to do. I have the chance to do that on my own country, to have my own place. Fantastic, let's do it. Problem was that, you know, as you, as I'm pretty sure all of you guys know because of this uh, COVID situation, you know, a lot of airlines had to, you know, uh, I, I hear a lot of you guys using the term redundant, uh, but let's call things as they are. You either resign or slash quit or you get fired. There is no, I was made redundant. No, I mean, it's one or the other, but if that makes you feel better, let's use the term redundant. So I was also made redundant. And that fucking sucked. That fucking sucked because uh, in reality, I spent almost seven years of my life investing in a career of aviation. And I don't feel bad about it because that's what I enjoy doing, you know? There are people that you, you ask, what would you like to do, you know? Uh, you know, some people, they just spend their entire lives doing something or working in something that they hate. You know, they get accustomed, you know, to, to getting that cash at the end of the year, the, the month. And, you know, they just keep doing it, something that they hate. But actually, no, I did enjoy being a captain crew. I loved the contact with people, with, you know, colleagues, the passengers, the, even the crazy schedules uh, that sometimes we have. And, you know, even sleeping in, in a bed which wasn't mine. I'm referring to hotels, don't get me wrong. So, after this abrupt uh, situation, and I started seeing a lot of videos that were posted by people that used to work as a cabin crew before, and I felt I really wanted to post a video, but I didn't, why? Because in case you guys uh, don't know, I have at the moment like a two year, two and a half year old daughter and being a father takes up quite a lot of time. So at this time, you know, I was just with the Corona and stuff. I, I, it, you know, I just 
took time off. You know, I spent time with the family, with my kid. You know, I went on vacation. So I and I and and I wanted to share with you guys because this is kind of like an update on the channel. So I thought to myself, what am I going to do? Seven years of my life were invested in, in aviation industry, so I need to think about something because aviation, the aviation industry slash hospitality industry is not going to go back to normal for quite a long time. So, you know, bills keep on coming and I need to find a way to pay them. So what am I going to do? And so I thought like, okay, let's use the time, uh, you know, that you're in quarantine, uh, that I'm in quarantine to do one of those online courses uh, to gain new knowledges, new skills, so that I can I could apply to a different area, you know, and, and do something with my life because you know you can't stay idle forever. And so you know, I thought, and I came to the conclusion that you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a course on human resources. Why? You might ask well because i thought long and hard and most almost all companies have a human re has a human resources department small or big all of them have one of these departments and there are so many areas human resources do so many things uh, that you know if you get fed up of doing one thing you can always move to another one as long of course as you're already inside of a company because you know with internal recruitment uh it's easier to change departments like this. So I did this. I, I did an online course and I ended with an average score of 18 in 20. And part of this uh, on, uh, online training, online course, uh, was the possibility of uh, being able to do a trainee program for one of three companies of my choosing. And I chose a company that I used to work in the past called Siemens. Uh, for my surprise, you know, they actually accepted the trainee program, and they and I started working for them for the Department of Travel and, and uh, Travel and Expenses. Uh, what you also don't know is that uh, I started the trainee program with them uh, on in October uh, 2020, and shortly after they actually made me a proposal for you know they actually did a contract with me for one year, and you know the benefits were were acceptable were were, were good you know, um, but here's the thing um, in February 9th. I quit. I gave them my resignation letter. And you might ask, uh, why on earth did you do it? Siemens is an excellent company. And I'm not going to tell you it's not. I mean, it has a very good name in the market. Uh, and everyone that you hear about Siemens, a German company, that's fantastic. It's great. And, you know, the installations that they have are amazing. And, you know, the, the overall conditions are not bad. But, this is the reason uh, I quit because uh, I start felt like I was uh, falling into a depression, something that never happened to me. And this happened because uh, I felt like the training that uh, I was given to wasn't exactly adequate. Um, I don't want to go too much into details on this because I don't want to bore you guys, but uh, and 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 uh, my daughter was going through a period where she was waking up at five in the morning, and our working time was between ten in the morning and seven in the evening. So while some of my colleagues, which didn't have kids or got or were married, like woke up like half an hour before and they were zipping coffee while the computer was turning on, me on the other hand was awake and was awoke since uh, five in the morning. So for me, at ten in the morning was already half day past. You know, so and considering we would finish at seven. It's a long time, and but that's not the complete and total issue. The problem was that uh, the workload was so much that in order for you to get a fairly amount of work done, or most of it being done, uh, most of my colleagues would start working at nine in the morning, and they would finish like at eight thirty, sometimes even nine in the evening. So if you you might say, oh, okay, Andre uh, or Andrew, like you know, occasionally, like you know, sometimes you have work clothes or or times where, you know, like in the end of the month or something where you need to work an extra time uh, to, to get this, you know, job done. The problem was that this was not occasional, this is recurrence. Every single day they would start working at 9 and ending at 8.39. And I 
just couldn't do it. You know, I have other responsibilities aside from work. And at the same time, the company doesn't pay for extra hours. So if the company doesn't pay for extra hours, it's because they don't recognize the needs to, uh, you know, if they don't recognize the need to pay them, it's because they feel like it's not necessary to put in extra hours. However, if you want to get your work done and not take shit from your boss or your coworkers, then you will need to do it. It's, it makes no sense. And this was very visible, what I'm telling you, because um, we would organize these uh, type of events, like remotely, because everything was done remotely, uh, like called a, uh, how do you call it, coffee breaks. And I'm like one of those HR things where they, they create these events so that, you know, you can have some sort of communication between other departments and games and all that, you know. You know. And uh, I would notice, I noticed that quite often the same people slash same departments were always there while others were not showing up because they were struggling with the amount of work. And since day one, I told them, look, um, this is a travel and expensive department. People, uh, the, the people are not flying right now and we barely can manage the amount of workload that we already have. So what are you waiting for to hire more people? Like uh, if tomorrow someone's, one of the, the coworkers is gonna go on vacations, another one will get sick or things go back to normal and now you have an insane amount of workload. Uh, like, what are you going to do? You're going to have to to get one of the people, which is an expert or, you know, is more comfortable working with the overall uh, workload. That person will have to go and aside to train the new people which come to the, the company. So this is not smart. This is this is very dumb. And instead of my co-workers actually supporting this decision and coming to the, the, the team leader and say like, OK, this is what's happening. We're putting in like at least two and a half hours extra time every single day, they were quiet because it, they, I felt like they just wanted to show off to their boss like, okay, you know what, I get things done. I don't mind putting the extra time, unpaid extra time, uh, you know, but I just want to feel important. I want to feel that I'm better than the other ones. I'm sorry, man, I don't work for free. I can, you know, and, um, and no one does like I think this is mostly like a Portuguese mentality of you know doing this these uh, consistent like unpaid extra hours but this for me is insane so to cut a thing short like uh, at a point uh, I reached a point where I was like you know I can do this just like drag this in a little bit longer it's just in the beginning things will go back to normal blah 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 but they didn't they never did they never did Day after day, week after week, I felt things were exactly the same and no one cared. No one cared. One of the colleagues was already already wanted to, to leave the, the, the company. The the, the one of the, the team leader already conf confessed to me when I I gave her my resignation that she, she felt exactly what I was feeling before. Like she even got into a depression and uh, and this resulted in the fact that she was stuck in a bed for six months, uh, unable to move. Like it's absolutely insane. Because sometimes, where when you don't uh, give the due attention to your body and to yourself, like you reach a point where it's gonna do whatever it wants. And I don't, I didn't want it to reach that point, especially for a thousand two hundred euros, like without tax at the end of. That's what's going been going on. Now I've been setting CDs again, which absolutely sucks. Although somehow, whenever I'm doing and sending these CDs, it feels exactly the same as when I was doing office work, even though I was doing it remotely. Uh, it feels exactly the same. Bored, like absolutely boring stuff. Uh, you know, but you just have to do it getting paid for it when you're doing a job now I'm not getting paid but you know I hopefully I, I want to get something better than I have and yeah so it's it kind of makes me wonder sometimes you know looking back to the past like what the fuck happened how did we got here how did you get there because I'm pretty sure most of the people watching this video right now are people that used to work in the aviation industry and are no longer there you're either unemployed or working on something else, customer support, or I don't know. Because like, it, it, 
on paper, what he used to do was very was very pretty. Like, uh, you act as a psychologist, as a firefighter, as a policeman, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, like, when you apply to a job, you know, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. It's like you either work in this department or you don't. And let's face it, customers support jobs. They don't really pay so well, at least in Portugal. But, yeah. Anyway, you guys, look, I just wanted to give you an overall update on why I haven't posted a video in a long time. And I also wanted to tell you that uh, I do enjoy making videos and I expect to keep making more. Um, I'm gonna have, I have some fresh information and stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. So I will still make a couple, probably still make another video until the end of this week. And also, just to, before we finish here, I just want to say that, you know, whenever you see these videos online that I posted, uh, you have no idea how much time I put into editing these things. I mean, they're not long, but, you know, the, the, the you know, cutting uh, certain parts of the video, adding music and all that stuff, you have no idea. Of course, the longer you make it, the, the, the longer you edit, the better and faster you become, which is something that is uh, applicable to any thing in life. But it still is a lot of work and time being put into it. And honestly, if uh, maybe I'm going to be slacking a little bit. I think in this particular video, I'm just going to put like in the beginning that intro, you know, since like back in the past, I paid like 10 bucks ten dollars for it so you know might as well use it so in any case guys uh this is it for my part and uh please let me know like if there's any particular subject that you want me to cover in the next video uh, if not then i already have some things prepared and in any case uh you'll start seeing me more regularly all right so it's nice to be back huh? have a nice day guys take care